uh, make this and upload it to YouTube. And uh, uh, basically, what this is is a, uh, a ZI8 camera. Uh, the reason why I bought this is because it has uh, a zoom in mode or a macro mode and a regular mode. And there's a switch you can switch back and forth. I switch it on the macro mode for filming the videos. And uh, I've got a clamp to a broomstick up here. It could be actually anything, any kind of stick. And uh, this clamp here actually comes from a shop light. There's a piece of leather here between the clamp and a piece of wood that I carved out. And I drilled a hole in the middle, put in a quarter inch screw. And then uh, mounted the camera to it. It's quarter inch fine threads. And this, this setup allows, allows me to have a lot of mobility with the camera. This clamp here pivots. I can also unclamp the, uh, the setup from the broomstick, move it side to side or up and down. I can move the broomstick as well, move the whole thing in one at one time. Very high tech. <laughs> It works very well for my purposes. I'm glad that I'm able to find a small camera, small enough to where it's not in the way too much. It's just outside of my field of vision when I'm working. So let's say I have a, uh, a biface. I've got to uh, make sure this distance here, the distance from the camera to the, to the work stays consistent and I have to make sure I'm within the field of vision at all times of the camera. Now the hardest part is keeping the workpiece within focus and within that small area. There's not much deviation up and down or side to side. I have to keep it pretty much centered while I'm working. So I'll do a little bit of napping so you can see. I've got the, uh, hope you can see, I've got the uh, antler under my knee here. It's uh, This one is probably about 8 inches, 7 or 8 inches long. I use this a lot. It's an uh, access deer, solid all the way through. It's an antler I got from a friend of mine, but you can get those on eBay. You can also use elk antler or white-tailed deer. This is a white-tailed deer antler. And I can go as short as five inches and it'll still tuck up under my knee okay. But the, the uh, best thing to do is get a long antler. Works a lot better. Eight inches minimum. They say the uh, camera puts on about 10 pounds. But in my case, I'd say about 30 pounds. <laughs> Let's see what I can do here. It's already three minutes. This video won't be too long. It just gives you an idea of my setup. Now I might combine these two into one video where you can see one of the videos within a window in the other video, but uh, I, don't, I don't know how to do that right now, so I'll, I'll just probably upload both these videos then you guys can open up two windows on your computer and watch them at the same time if that's what you want to do. I might do some more videos like this in the future. Uh, I've got an AC adapter hooked up to this one so I don't have to worry about the, uh, the camera turning off but the, uh, this camera up here uh, is just on battery so It might turn off at any at any point, but I, I may do more like this. I'm showing two perspectives.
easy to use a thicker antler. Anyway, if it gets dull or if it gets worn, uh, I just rub it down on the on these asphalt blocks, or not asphalt, the concrete blocks that I'm sitting on. That's all this is, just a bunch of concrete blocks. Now I'm watching this work here, but I'm also, from time to time, I'll, I'll look in this to make sure I'm centered. And that's the hardest part, I'm trying to do those two things at one time. I just want to get this thinned down and that'd be it. I think I've already done a video on an ABO biface. Well, the hammerstone's doing okay, but I think I should just go to, with a bigger piece of antler and quit while I'm ahead here. The flakes are not really running halfway or more than halfway. So that's it. Um, I am trying to do paleo, so I'll, I may do some more videos like this with two cameras with the uh, paleo stuff I'm going to be doing. That's it.